Hey there, it's Rob Hatch, and this is Simple Decisions. Today I want to talk about a core principle for how I approach pretty much any big endeavor. It's called put success in your way. That is the core principle, and it has three core components. The first is an understanding that willpower is limited. Our willpower throughout the day can sort of wane uh, depending on how much we've exerted it, how tired we are, things like that. It's harder to call it up. It's not impossible, but it gets harder throughout the day. That decisions are stra d distractions. Sorry, decisions are distractions. The more decisions we have to make, our ability to make subsequent decisions uh, is affected. It's impacted negatively. And so as we go on throughout the day, every time we have to make a tiny little decision, we're actually using up some of that energy. And the third core component is an understanding that habits are a powerful neurobiological force, that once we have them and we can use them uh, for good, that they can support us, we, oftentimes without even having to think about it. The habit of you know, tying your shoes, you don't even have to think about that. It's, that. it's just so easy and natural. We're not thinking about each and every step. So put success in your way is the core principle, and the components of that are that willpower is limited, decisions are distractions, and habits are a powerful neurobiological force. What put success in your way looks like for me in action uh, is is quite simple, but not always easy. One of the things that I need to do if I'm starting anything new, let's say the example I love to give is if I'm going to start exercising. So I've decided that I'm going to take up running. If I decide to take up running, there are a lot of things that, that go into that for me. I need to uh, decide ahead of time when we've talked about this in earlier episodes I need to decide ahead of time when I'm going to go how long I'm going to go uh, I need to know what sort of workout it's going to be am I working on my speed am I working on my distance am I just going for a le leisurely stroll is this a recovery whatever it is I can't just get out and run I want to I kind of want to know what's going to happen and what I need to do on that run the other part of this and this is where put success in your way comes um, is it, I need to have everything ready for me, all of the equipment that I need to get out the door, or else I may not go. So for example, if I wake up in the morning and I have to think about where my shoes are, my shorts are, if my phone's charged, where my headphones might be, if I have to look around for any of that, I'm less likely to get out the door and actually do the thing that I've set out to do and do the run. If I can just get out the door and I'm standing in my driveway with my shoes on and everything's ready, I will go running. So that distance between my bed and the front door is really important and I need to close that gap. I need to make it as easy as possible. The decision has to be made. Everything needs to be ready. So I lay out my shoes, my socks, my shorts, my you know t-shirt, I have my phone charged, my headphones are charged. Everything is ready to go. I also know what I'm going to, where I'm going to go, how long I'm going to be gone. All of that stuff is already ready and decided so that I can just get out the door. I don't have to expel any willpower trying to get out the door or as much because I'm not having to look for everything. I'm not having to make a million decisions wondering what should I wear, where is the thing, all of that stuff because I checked the weather ahead of time and I knew that today it might rain so I am wearing my you know a, a, a light rain jacket instead of just a t-shirt. All of those things have been settled and decided everything is ready and I have literally put success in my way, success being accomplishing that thing that I most want to accomplish. Now, in this case, the thing that I want to accomplish isn't just the run. The thing that I really needed to put success in your way core principle for was getting out the door. That was success number one. Getting out the door was success number one. Success number two was, was running. I always want to put myself in the best possible position to accomplish the thing that I want to accomplish. So part of that is breaking it down and understanding where do I need the support? Where do I need to make sure that I have everything ready so that then I can focus my energy and attention and not um, ex you know, expend it in other useless or meaningless ways. Again, if I have to exert my willpower to get out the door, 
I might have less willpower available if the run gets hard and I want to push myself. I would much rather preserve that willpower, preserve that decision-making energy so that I can use it in other ways and other more directed ways when I'm out on the run and I need that extra push. So that's it. That's the real basic breakdown of put success in your way. And you can use it in a number of ways. I talked about in earlier episodes of Simple Decisions, just uh, last night guy and tomorrow guy and wanting to make sure that I have everything ready to start my day. I get to decide what it is that I need. I get to set things up the way that I want them to be set up so that I can be the most successful. Deciding ahead of time what I'm going to work on. Whatever it is, you get to do it your way as well. But the principle remains the same. How will you gather what you need to put success in your way so that you can accomplish the most important elements of your day? I'm Rob Hatch, and this has been Simple Decisions.